Okay, today we're going to look at PayPal and importing its account into to Quicken. It's, only, it's not going to be automatic updating since PayPal doesn't support that, but what you can do is you can go to its PayPal site and download the QIF file and import it into there. We're going to go ahead and we'll do it for my first time. We'll log in to PayPal. Go to activity. We'll go to statements right here. You click on it and it should come down with activity export. That's what we're going to go to. Activity export. Now, since this is the first time, we probably want to do is make sure if everything to look like it should be without having to offset it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do it. We're gonna extract from the first time we had PayPal. I don't know when that was. So I'm thinking and guessing 2015 should be pretty good. We'll just change it to 2015. Hopefully we can do it. QIF file. Oh, of course it should be a maximum of two years. Let's see, what's two years before it's today? It should be enough because I make sure. So you probably want to make, make sure that you did this before having your PayPal account, otherwise, you have to offset it. So we'll put 2006, 2015, 6, I'm thinking. Okay, here's what I did. I changed the month to the January and then put 2016 in. Let's give it a go and see if it, and that should be plenty of time, hopefully. Not too much, hopefully. We'll see. It's doing something. I think that worked. Taking some time. Okay, it worked, but this screen will not come up on your computer. This is because... Okay, if you're using Firefox, you should get this in your screen. You should get a regular download screen in any browser you use. Earlier, the, that thing popped up was because I had Download Manager on here. It's an add-on program you can download to download stuff. Accordingly, you can't use it to do this because it, it's not logged into PayPal and it won't let you download it. It'll say it's forbidden. It'll give you a 403 error. Anyway, you can click save file and that button will come enabled and click on it and it doesn't take that long to see it's only 2.1 kilobytes big. So we'll download it. And that's that, that's it. Now it's down. Now it's going to quicken. We'll go to add account. Cash. We'll click cash account for adding. We'll give it a name. Pay pal. Go next. Date to start tracking. Let's make it. What's this? Date actual. Can we go back? January 2016 of course okay okay so it doesn't I just looking around here we'll go back to the what's today the 24th of April so we'll click on that it, it, it's just gonna do it by the only year that that was on it so let's leave that alone we'll leave it as that next and hopefully that day will get my account sensitized enough that it will not have to worry about being lost on it. I don't think I had it that long so so January 1st 2016 should have been good enough so we'll finish with this now we'll click here And we we'll want to make sure now it's going to do something right here. What is it doing? Okay. 
must must because this new account and did that. Now we'll go we'll go over here, see what the, the download number is. It's number three because I have several of them downloaded on here, so there's number three of that file name. So we'll click file, import. QIF Okay from here you want to go to go to the number three right there and click import and hopefully everything's good and everything it's not we're at, according to what this thing says, it says we have like negative $214.58, which is not correct. So what did we do wrong? Maybe I'm going to try clearing this, undoing that. Can I undo it? Let's delete this account. Okay, I tried everything with, with it, trying to get it to 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 come out to be be 100% accurate on the price on the balance on it, but it says it's negative 214.58 dollars, which is not correct. It should be zero. So we got to offset it. And since mine had zero in, in the account balance, we should should just offset it by 214.58. So what we'll do is we'll put you know, in, we'll put Go down here wherever the so in a new 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 thing. Pay it. Let's put in here. Put in the memo. We we'll call it import offset. So we know that's import offset. And it, and it, and it's a receive one of two hundred and. Fourteen point five eight dollars. That did it. So if, you know, probably not to do this for it for it every time. If I decide to do it once you, if you haven't done it in a while, that might have caught something and it might have caused it to go off very off wrong. So I don't understand what's missing in here. Everything seems to be in here. Anyway, that's it for this video. So, if, if you figure out if if you can figure out a way to to to. Uh, import them in there if I have to offset it sometimes let me know in the comments and below okay so if this is a good, good so I hope you learned how to use PayPal with Quicken so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching bye